Hello, and welcome to Gifted Hands Artists and Soap. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made that beautiful soap that you've seen in the intro of this video. Um, across all my social media sites, I got so many requests to see how this soap was made. So without further ado, here is Lavender Sage. Okay, everybody, here we are getting ready to make the batch for the flowers. I make it separate from the base batch just because I know the measurements and things that I need to split my colors off. So I have my oils already melted and cooled down and I also have my lye solution made right here and I typically go ahead and put my titanium dioxide in especially if I know that my, um, my base is going to be white or cream colored. So I have that ready to go and I have my strainer on top. Um, this just helps me with the titanium dioxide. Sometimes it doesn't mix in very well and it helps me keep from having the little white particles and um, flakes in my soap. So I'm just going to give this a little quick stir and we will be ready to get started. So now I'm ready to split the batch up into the three colors that I need for the piping. Here I'm getting ready to color each little batch. The first is with purple vibrance mica, the second with laurel leaf green, and the third will be left white. bag for each color. each color just a little bit more to get the batter to thicken up and then I'm pouring them into the piping bags that I just set up for each color. That's it for the piping setup. Next we will get started on the base of the soap. Okay, we are back and we are ready to start making the base part of our soap. I have my oils already melted and cooled to room temperature as well as my lye solution, which I have set up the same exact way as I did with the, um, the base, I mean the batch for the flowers with my titanium dioxide in there and I'm about to pour it in and strain off my titanium dioxide on the top so that I don't have any extra particles that I don't want in my soap. Now 
now I'm gonna split this off into the three color batches. it will remain white then the other two colors will get green vibrance mica and laurel leaf green with a stick blender just to make sure that the colors are fully incorporated and evenly dispersed. So the mold I'm going to be using is the Tall Skinny Mold by uh, Nurture So Now we're going to get ready to pour this in the mold. Again, we are doing a drop swirl gonna give my white a little stir. bags and they are now ready to go along with the dark purple rosettes that I previously made and so to show you a little bit better I'm gonna use my uh, piping my rose nail I believe is what it's called and a little bit of a square parchment paper so that I can show you a little bit better how that's done so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nail and stick my just stick my parchment paper on. So you're just going to hold it straight up and down, squeeze, and as you squeeze, you're gonna rise up a little bit, and then you're going to start going around like that, and then you're going to bring it back around like that in a twirl and my parchment paper is sliding off so let's see there we go just like that and you have a little rose I'm gonna have a more detailed tutorial on how to do this a little bit later on but I just wanted to give you an idea of how that works so I think that is piping out perfectly so I'm gonna get ready to pipe my roses on the top there I'm just gonna sit that to the side because I can use that for another project later on <laughs> I am going 
going to take my purple roses, my deep purple roses, dark purple roses, and place them on the top as well. Now I'm putting on the little rosebud dollops, which will be followed by the piping of the leaf. sparkle I'm going to be adding some silver glitter on the top of the soap for a finishing touch okay it is all finished up so I will be back within 24 to 48 hours to cut this on the video I will see you guys tomorrow All right, it has been just over 48 hours. I have the loaf set up on my 11 bar multi cutter and I already have it lined up so we are ready to cut. for joining me on the very first episode of Gifted Pan Soap Studio. If you like what you saw, please do me the honor of hitting that thumbs up, subscribing, and ringing my bell so you never miss out on the soapy fun here in the studio. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Gifted Pan's Artisan Soap and check out my online store at www.giftedpansbathandbody.com. All links will be in the description box. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching. Bye.